Great start to the week there with Stu Lennon. I'm at Haydock now for the junior novices chases. It's a two and three quarter mile novice. And at the top, we've got Hip to Be Square for Joshua Sutherland. Market Talon for Graham Clitterbuck. Rooting for you, David Hooley. Sonning Eye, Darren Thompson. Hidden Persuader, Leon Van Rensburg. Inuit Symbol, Ben Benici. And Ozark Slide for Vinnie Gerrard. Makes up a field of seven. Oh, ready to face the starter in glorious sunshine. And called in and away they go in. And Ozark slide is the first to show as they get to the first fence very, very quickly. Short run to that first one, or they're all safely to the other side of it. And now making their way towards the second of the 18 fences that they've got to negotiate in this one. And hip to be square on the inside is now taking the lead as they get to the second. Oh, mistake and a fall. A mistake there by Hidden Persuader. And the jockey was deposited at the side door. So Leon van Rensburg's charge is out of this one. And hip to be square continues to lead. Now being joined by rooting for you as they get to the third, and they're all safely over that one and virtually in a line as they make their way to the next end with hip to be square on the inside, just about the leader. Inuit symbol in the blue jacket is pretty keen to get close to the front as well. Along with Ozark sliding rooting for you, and then Market Tavern, and finally the only grey in the field signing. Oh, and Inuit symbol was nearly down that time. And these are very novicey, these with these fences. They get to this ditch, they all drop that one okay. The loose horse hidden persuader running along for fun on the outside. Right there. Taking this left handed turn now, and hip to be square is about three quarters of a length clear of Ozark slide rooting for you and Inuit symbol virtually in a line. Then market sound just a length or so behind them with toxic on the inside, the grey sonning eye. And it's hip to be square and leads into this next one. Over it, they all go. Negotiated that one nicely. Uh, one inside the final two miles now. And hip to be square on the inside leads over this ditch. Well, the Inuit symbol in second. And the green of Ozark slide on the outside of the purple for rooting for you. Uh, Graham Clutterbox Market Tavern on the outside of Darren Thompson's grey sonning eyes. They get to the eighth and Ben Banichi's horse jumped alongside. Hip to be square there. So it's Van Ben Benici's Inuit symbol that's gone on. Yes. Hip to be square for Joshua Sutherland the second. Those two have pulled four clear. Of Ozark slide for Vinnie Gerard as they make their way to the ninth. And a bit of a slow jump by Market Tavern, but Inuit symbol is jumping nicely in the lead. And it's now opened up by three lengths as they come up past the big screen. Past the winning post. And then they'll swing out left-handed for one more complete circuit of the Haydock track and Inuit symbol he's in the lead by five to hip to be square second and rooting for you third then comes Market Tavern and Ozark slide and finally finally sawning eye as they get to the tenth then a little bit slower that time Inuit symbol hip to be square jumps it much quicker Rooting for you back in third, Market Tavern fourth, Ozark slide fifth, and Sodding I've been happy to just took around at the back for most of the way so far. Oh, made a mistake and has gone there. Yeah, a similar fall to Hidden Persuader hit the fence really hard and gave the jockey no chance. And he exited the side door, so it's Hidden Persuader and Sodding Eye both gone in the same fashion as they get over the 12th. And it's hip to be square in the lead from Inuit Symbol second, Rooting for you third, Market Tavern fourth, and Ozark slide fifth. All any of these out. You would have to say that on previous form, hip to be square would look to be the one to be on as they come to the next. And over that one, they will go. And hip to be square continues to lead. Rooting Fuse now gone past Inuit Symbol into second. Looks like Inuit Symbol may have run its race as they get over that ditch. And all safely over that. With hip to be square. Five furlongs away from the finish. Leading by two to Rooting for You second, Ozark slide third, Market Tavern fourth, and Inuit symbol now being pushed along in fifth. Prize money there for the taking though. All fifth place as they get over this next one. They're all safely over that one with hip to be square. Just being pushed along now to begin to lengthen. He's now gone three or four clear. 
over that ditch. That was the 16th. That was third for a moment. The final ditch is just two plain fences to go now. And the jockey on him to be square. Having a little look round, see where the rest of them are. I think he knows he's got this one pretty much in the back, barring a fall as they come down towards the second last. Pops over it nicely. Rooting for you was slow. Ozark slides moving to second, but it's hip to be square. It's clear. I'll gain it on him though. We've seen one or two get caught in the last couple of weeks and the jockey needs to be careful as they come down towards the final fence and now he's perhaps putting out some distress signals because Rooting for You and Ozark Slide are getting closer and it's hip to be square in the lead it might not be hip to be this cool and it's hip in the lead but now he's being challenged by Rooting for You and Rooting for You's getting up and he's beating him Rooting for You and Ozark Slide one two hip to be square might only have been fourth in the end with Market Town finishing really fast as well and well Hip to be square, you'd have put one heck of a lot of money on that horse in between the second two, and in between the last and the last but one, but he got beaten. And uh, rooting for you, David Hooley takes it. Ozark slide, Vinnie Gerard second. Hip to be square, Joshua Sullivan only third. Market Tavern, Grand Cultivate fourth, and Inuit Symbol for Ben Benici fifth. So my first National Hunt race of the week then was not without drama, was it?